the Arcturians are shifting gears a little bit and talking about your divine purpose. They're saying, stop worrying about your divine purpose. Stop worrying about your life purpose. Hello everyone, my name is Paul, and today I'm going to be channeling the Arcturians. They've been wanting to come in a lot recently. I'm really excited to hear what they have to say. And just a few notes before we start. If you feel like their energy is too intense for you, you can always ask them to step back or just click off the video. But if you do like their energy and, and enjoy their energy, you can ask them to come in a little bit closer. The only thing, if, if you're not used to it, it can feel really intense. I'm here channeling here on the higher self, but I also have my own YouTube channel, Paul Milgis, and I channel different extraterrestrials, alien beings, galactic beings on my own channel as well. I'm excited to see what they have to say. I'm just taking a deep breath, settling into the energy. I feel them coming in through my crown chakra, and they feel quite calm, actually, today. The Arcturians are saying, greetings, dear ones. We are here to channel our energy through this one here today. We are watching over Earth at this time. There are several known conflicts going here on Earth. We are also have our hand in those. We are watching over these different conflicts. It is not easy for us to watch this happen, to watch humans do this to each other. But we understand that at this time, this is needed in order for the old paradigm to break down. There has to be moments of conflict. There has to be times where this energy of the old paradigm manifests itself and expels itself. These conflicts around the world are happening sooner than we expected. Previously, we expected them to happen maybe a few years down the road, four or five years, but they're happening sooner rather than later. Many souls will be exiting Earth. Many of these souls will be exiting this planet altogether. Their souls will be recycled and they will be going to other planes of existence or planets. This is in order to make room for new souls that are waiting to come in here on planet Earth. These new souls that are coming in are vibrationally ready for the ascension process. Many of them are light workers or light beings, as you so called them. In order for humans to ascend to the fifth dimension, there has to be a certain number of souls in the collective here on Earth that are rising in vibrational frequency together. At this time, there is not enough souls here on Earth that are ascending, awakening. We are still in the early stages of what you call, so-called, the new Earth. They are saying in a few hundred years, we will be further along. There will be multiple billions of people being on this ascension path and many more within the fifth dimensional frequency. But at, th but at this time, what you so call the new earth, this energy is an energy that you can create within your life, within yourself, within your being, and an energy in which you can call upon. This is the new earth, this is creation, this is life, this is heaven on earth. We look at the new earth as a state of being, a state of consciousness. This is our goal as Arcturians for the human race, is for humans to reach this state of consciousness. As you well may know, many of us are incarnated in human form. We have a lot of energy invested here on earth, but it will take time. They're talking about the new earth is already here, it's already created, but on Earth, as you well know, things take time. But over on the other side, we don't see the time the same way that you guys do. And this energy is already here, it's already created. But we know that you are living here now in this moment and it may be difficult, especially coming into the times ahead. Times ahead. Now they're showing me 10 years down the future into these so-called conflicts and some of them are starting to wrap up more and the energy is starting to pull back a little bit and be a little bit more peaceful. It's, uh, it's quite heavy feeling the next five, 10 years, but on the other side of things, things feel better to me. Now they want to shift into a different direction and uh, sorry if I feel if I'm channeling quite a little bit robotic, 
Sometimes I feel like that when I'm around the Arcturians. They're very cerebral. They're very intelligent. They're very good at telepathic communication. And it almost feels like when you're channeling them, you feel, or when you feel their energy around you, it almost feels like you're superhuman. And you kind of feel a little bit robotic, I've noticed. But now the Arcturians are saying, those of you that you think you have been left behind on the old earth, <laughs> watching what's happening that's going on here. You have not been left behind. Everything is going according to plan. This is the d divine plan, the divine intervention that all of you are a part of. All of you have come here to earth with your own set of divine blueprint energy that has now been activated upon the earth plane. This is all going according to plan. <laughs> you just being here on planet earth is fulfilling the prophecy, the divine plan. Many galactic energies are surrounding Earth at this time. Not just us, the Arcturians, but the Blue Avians, the Pleiadians, and many more. We, the Arcturians, at this time, are guiding many people, many light workers, many people on Earth to rest. This is in order to conserve your energy for the rocky road ahead. Spirituality on Earth will take more of a back seat in the coming years. They're talking about five, 10 years because people have other things to focus on. Many will be focusing on survival, being able to make enough money to live, but always remember the light inside of you. Hold this light for this is your lifeline here on earth. This is your purpose for many to hold this light, to be stable, to be confident, in this light. They're also saying you may be guided to not look at the news, things like that, being in a period of isolation for many. On the bright side, take this time in order to focus on self-love, self-care, and self-relaxation. <laughs> you are the most important person in your life, and if you call us forth, the Arcturians, we can help you with this self-love, connecting within, reaching within you and to who you really are, accepting this part of yourself, embracing this light within you. The Arcturians are saying there is many things going on on the other side that we do not realize. So do not concern yourself with the different conflicts going on around the world. There is massive amounts of energy moving behind the scenes, many different galactic beings pulling different strings. So do not concern yourself. Everything is going in order to plan. Now the Arcturians are shifting gears a little bit and talking about grounding. They're saying many people of Arcturian Sarseed origins are not grounded. They find it a little more difficult for them to connect down here into the heart into the into the heart and down here into these lower chakras. This is because we the Arcturians are very advanced in our mind. Our mind is very expansive. Our consciousness is very expansive. We are very intelligent, very smart. <laughs> when we incarnate into human vessels, it manifests itself in a certain way on this human plane of existence. They're saying, imagine incarnating with this such an expanse of consciousness coming into this human vessel. It's and it's different and it's more confined. They're saying on Earth, it's a bit different than Arcturian form. Connecting with in with your emotions and with your heart is needed for growth, for expansion, for the ascension, for embracing the divine feminine within you, the divine masculine. Also, it will make life much easier much more fruitful, being more grounded in your vessel, more present on earth. The present moment is where it's at. <laughs> in Arcturian form, we can go into the future, go into the past very easily. We see time much differently, but on earth it's different. The Arcturians are shifting gears a little bit and talking about your divine purpose. They're saying, stop worrying about your divine purpose. Stop worrying about your life purpose. Many of you are here on earth in order to experience earth to get experience being in the human body and having a 
experience here on earth. They're saying many of you are here to get experience here on earth, to get experience within the human vessel. And like we said earlier, many of you are fulfilling your purpose just being here on earth in human form. Your energy, it's important for it to be here for the collective. Knowing that, we ask all of you to find enjoyment in life, find the joy, and if you so feel called to do certain things, then go do them. Go try them out. Go experience them. This is what life is all about. Life is not set on one destiny. There are many different things that you will do in this human form throughout a multitude of different lifetimes that you may have here on Earth. Experiencing life in the moment, the joy of the life, the primal aspects of this physical human vessel, eating food, being connected more with your sexuality, these are very, these are of the utmost importance. Because in the future, they're talking about humans ascending, and they may no longer have these physical bodies. They might may have light bodies. So at this point in time, enjoy this physical vessel. They're saying this time of having light bodies is not going to come in this lifetime. <laughs> they're reiterating that as many people think that we will ascend into the fifth dimension and we all have light bodies. They're saying it's going to happen over hundreds of years. They're very excited for this because they know that the human race has a very high potential. It's like a melting pot of many different ETs that are here incarnated in these bodies and we're all learning at a very fast rate and they would consider this fast <laughs> even though it feels like we're moving very slow when we're here in this human vessel. Part of the reason in which we learn so fast here on earth they're saying is because of spiritual amnesia forgetting a lot of things before we incarnate here then having to figure things out on the fly. It's a very uh, steep learning curve, Earth. The more and more we incarnate here, the more we get better at it. Now he's shifting gears a little bit and he's saying, those of you that have incarnated as Arcturians, many of you have success mindsets. I want to achieve, I want to be successful doing this. Well, this is important. It is imp also important to ground yourself in the present moment and to enjoy this life experience instead of always achieving and going to the next thing. This is one thing that uh, Arcturian starseeds struggle with. Now they are starting to back off now. The Arcturians are sending us lots of light. You may be able to feel them. It, you can also ask their energy to come in closer. If it's too intense, tell it to back off. They're saying one last final thing as you can ask us to come into your life to help you with your psychic abilities, help you in your life to pull strings behind closed doors, <laughs> if you wish. Now they're backing up now, sending us lots of light. That was quite interesting. The Arcturians had a lot of things to say. And if you like this video, comment down in the comments and I'll make more videos like this. Also, if you are an Arcturian starseed, comment and tell us what your experience is being an Arcturian. And let us know if you resonated with this because we don't always resonate with everything. I thought they had a lot of pretty interesting stuff to say, especially a lot of the stuff that's happening on the world stage and a lot of advice they had for Arcturian star seeds and really cool stuff like that. And if you have any questions for me, you can let them know in the comments. If you would like a more detailed reading, one-on-one -on -one private reading, you can also contact me on my website. I do those. And just for you here on the Iris Self, I'm offering a 25% discount on my readings. Also, there is a Starseed class that is coming up. If you want to know your Starseed origins, that's a really good one to take. And you get to come into a class and learn with other individuals that are Starseeds. And you get to sense a lot of these energies. Because I'm all about learning how to feel and sense this energy yourself. Not always having to rely on someone else. Although that might may be great at, at times, it is also important to... You know, listen into our own intuition. And thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and share the video. And until next time.